Hey YouTube, it's A1ers back. I need to make this quick. My in-laws just called. They came in um, from Georgia and they said that they were going to be here in about 30 minutes. They were here last night and went back to where they're staying and then, and then they said they'll be here soon. So I'm going to make this real quick. Just wanted to update you all on where I am. Um, so last week I talked about my 50 pounds regain since my lowest part of surgery. Here's the disclaimer is that my lowest part of my regain was like 196 or around there and then I comfortably sit at like 220 most of my regain this is where I'm living my life I'm a size 12 is at 220 um if I can get to 196 I'm a size 10 and I feel better about myself and I would love to do that again but it is 50 pounds heavier than my lowest, but it's only like 25 pounds heavier than where I normally am comfortable at. So don't let the 50 pound regain discourage you from getting the surgery because you should probably get the surgery if you're thinking about it. I, I, um, really appreciate my sleeve. I appreciate my new lifestyle. And I was upwards of 200, I mean, 326 pounds at one point in time. And that was four years ago. And I'm still like a hundred pounds less than that, or thereabout, not quite at the moment because of the regain, but still a hundred pounds four years later. Um, so I feel like that's still a really good success story. I mean, when I had my surgery, I was 297, I believe, or 296.4. I don't know. Check my earlier videos. <laughs> um, but even with this being like only 50 pounds weight loss within four years and being able to keep it off, if I were to stay at 246, which I'm not today, um, then I would still call it a success. I mean, it's not where I would want to be, but it definitely helps. And it's definitely made me not gain as much weight as I would have gained had I not gotten the surgery. And it's been four years later and who knows where I would have been. Maybe the same. But would I have wanted to be 320 something pounds four years later? No. And it gets harder the older you get to lose the weight, I'm realizing. And I'm only 33. So... Anyways, so I was talking about my regain and it was, I was 196 at my lowest. And then on Sunday I was 246.6 and I made me realize I had gained exactly 50 pounds over the course of time from my lowest, um, from where I want to be even, um, I would love to be 200 or 199 by the end of summer. Sure. Motherhood. So, on Sunday, as I was saying, before I was derailed by my children, um, Sunday, March the 24th, I was 246.6. And then last Monday when I made a video, um, March 25th, 2019, I was 246. 44.8 and then yesterday Sunday I mean Monday sorry today's Tuesday I was 237.6 so I mean in a week I lost nine pounds yes yes you may have a snack pack for breakfast on spring break if it'll make you not interrupt my video anymore um, that's pudding. My kids are eating pudding. Now they did already have cereal, but they want pudding. And, um, whatever. So speaking of pudding, I have bought a lot of sugar-free puddings, um, to help me out this week with, um, wanting cravings or sweet treats. It's not absolute best thing I could have done, but it helped me get through the week and, well, lose nine pounds. So, 
Um, if you're wondering what you can do with, you know, a liquid diet or soft proteins or whatever. I mean, I had a lot of um, those Ogios. Am I saying those right? Triple zero Greek yogurts. Um, I think the wild berries were my favorite. Um, Sugar-free pudding. I had a lot of um, a lot of protein shakes. Um, I found out I still don't like vanilla protein shakes. They're way too sweet for me, but for others, I know people who love them. Um, I just can't handle the, the sweetness. Also, I've had a ton of avocados. I think I ate an avocado every day. Um, I ate a lot of eggs. Like, I think I had two to three eggs a day. Okay, here's another thing that happened. So my restriction came back. Like, before I could eat an entire bagel with an egg and an avocado on it and like a breakfast sandwich and eat the entire thing and be like, oh, I'm full-ish within three days. And I did this with my um, friend who lives in Georgia who had the same surgeon as I did. Her name's Beverly. And she wanted to do a pouch reset also. And we both experienced like the same thing. Like within three days, our restriction was so much back. Um, like I had an avocado and a yogurt for lunch one day and I ate the avocado first because it's got less sugars and more fat. And, um, then I went to eat my yogurt and I could only eat a couple bites and I was like Thanksgiving stuffed, couldn't move. Like I had to save the rest of the yogurt for later, which I did eat it later. Um, like a right before dinner which I think dinner that night was eggs. And then my husband made me three eggs because I usually eat three eggs and I could only eat one because I ate the yogurt. What I'm realizing now is that I can only eat two eggs at a time now. Um, and I'm really full, which I mean, I feel like it's like a good portion of eggs, but I don't know. It just really encouraged my restriction to come back and it's in full swing. I got boneless wings yesterday and they had like probably eight or nine boneless wings and I ate one and then some salad and I was full and I thought this is like the honeymoon period of when I'm, I was sleeved. Like I'm not going to discourage this at all. I'm okay with being just eating this because I know that I'll be hungry later. And I did end up eating all of my rings throughout the day yesterday and all of my salad throughout the day yesterday, but it was more like an early lunch and then a later lunch and then dinner um, and in between, I had a snack pack and protein shake and everything. I think I'm getting about 1,200 calories a day. Um, one day was really low. It was more like 700, but it was just I didn't have much of an appetite that day. But you have to kind of push through that. You don't want to go into starvation. Anyway, so that's that. So um, 237.6. Oh, okay, and then I got on the scale today and I was 238 flat. So I did eat a lot of boneless wings yesterday and a little bit more than I normally would because my in-laws were in town and I didn't want to be that weirdo that like, not that if you only have like soup that you're a weirdo, but they would maybe think I was a weirdo. So I did eat a little bit more than I have been eating this week. And I think I just haven't been able to flush that out yet. So and still, it's only like a half pound gain. So I was a little bit worried, like, okay, now I'm eating salads. Like, what's, like, not just salads, but like a breaded chicken. Um, so I think this week I'm going to go to Michigan on Thursday. And I'm going to try to do pretty well. But I'm not going to, I mean, I'll, I'll be with my family. I'm not really worried about it. And then when I get back from Michigan, I'm going to hit it again real hard. Because I would love to be able to get down to... I mean, I'm only, what, eight pounds away, nine pounds away from the 220s. Ooh, that would be great. That's where, like, where I, usually my comfort zone is. So, okay, I'm going to sign off because my in-laws should probably be here in about 10 minutes. And I got to get my kids up. Um, The other ones, I have four and only three are up right now. So just one, Silas. He's still sleeping. He's a sleepy boy. Um, <clears throat> oh, and this week I drink lots of coffee. People usually don't drink coffee when they're doing detoxes and stuff in coffee's life. So I just, I still drink coffee, but I only limit it to like 
two or three cups a day, not like drink it all day long. So that's my life. It's my life. I'm handling it. Okay. I'll talk to you later, YouTube. Talk to you later. Bye.